Hey everybody, I've been getting a couple of emails about calculating the, you know, the grade that you need for your final exam for whatever you're aiming for. And I wanted to make this video to just kind of clear up any, any confusion. So if you look at the grade book right now, what you'll notice is that your grade is being calculated based on um, basically only three grades. And the reason for that is because um, the reason for that is the grade book is set up to drop your lowest exam grade. And right now you only have a total of four exam grades. So let's say hypothetically, someone has the following grades, exam one, two, three, four. So at the current moment, let's say that this person has a 52 on their first exam, a 92, a 75, and an 80 on their exams. Um, if they have that grade combination, the grade book right now, it's 80. Um, the grade book right now is omitting that 52. Um, and so what you would see in your grade is you would see that 92, 92 plus 75 plus 80 would be 247 divided by three. And therefore, the average that you're showing in the grade book is an 82, 82.3. Now, in the event that you, so that is basically where your grade is at the moment. But remember, you have a final exam. And that final exam grade is weighted just like all the other ones. But if you elect to not take the grade, to, uh, sorry, if you elect to not take the final exam, well, then the grade book is going to look at your five grades and drop your lowest one. So the grade book would drop this zero, but then it would bring back, do I have an erase function you can do? Yeah, it would bring back this 52. Therefore, your grade would end up being, well, 52 plus 92 plus 75 plus 80 divided by four in which case your grade would not be a B of 82.3, but instead 74.75. Okay, so if you're looking at this and you're thinking, well, what do I need to get on the final exam? Then what you need to do is you need to say, well, an A is 90% of, well, 400. Therefore, you need to get a total of 360 points. So essentially, this person, if they had this grade kind of breakdown, if they were saying, okay, well, I have this 82.3, um, I want to make a what to get me to a 90%. Well, essentially, all that they would need to do is say 360 minus 92, minus 75, and minus 80. That would get them 360 minus 92, minus 75, minus 80. They would have to get a 113 on the final exam. Their 52, their lowest exam grade would be dropped. They'd be in good position to do that. Now keep in mind, the highest that you can earn on the final exam is a 118. So this person would be in a position to do just fine. And they would be able to earn that B. But do not look at your grade book or look at the grade book right now and say, aha, I'm good. You need to look at what your, your total number of points are and how many you need. And remember that your grade is being calculated from a total of four grades, not three like it currently is. If you have questions, please email me. I do not want someone to take or to skip the final thinking that they're in good a good position when they are actually not. All right. Well, have a good one. Bye-bye.